Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today we're going to be customizing the Enos Huntley S. Uh, it's a kind of a cool SUV. Um, I would say based off of the Bentayga, except this came out before I think the Bentayga was even announced. The That's the Bentley Bentayga. Um, so I'm not really sure what it's based off of. Um, it's definitely got the Bentley front end, um, but I don't know, the back end's not not too Bentley so I'm not I'm not 100% sure what it's based off of but uh, I know it's a really cool car and back when it first came out it was a very very fast SUV I think it may have even been the fastest SUV uh, which is pretty cool so anyway let's uh, get into the customization here we're gonna start off with the armor and we're gonna go 100% on that for the brakes we're gonna go race and for the engine level 4 uh, for the exhaust we have a few options Chrome tip exhaust, dual exit exhaust, dual titanium exhaust, and big bore exhaust. Um, I think we're going to go with the big bore because um, it's pretty much the only one you can actually like, notice a difference, I think. Uh, for the hood, we have the option for a vented hood, a double vented hood. Oh, okay, I see. So on the sides there. And carbon hood and carbon vented. Um, I think we are just going to go with the vented hood. Um... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that look. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the two like uh, weird side vents on the hood. So, uh, for the headlights, we just went xenon, yellow and black plate. For the respray, not sure what color I want to do. Um, kind of thinking something a bit brighter, maybe like maybe maybe an orange. Ooh, sunrise orange. Ooh, looking kind of nice actually. Let's give it. Let's give that a shot. Let's see what that looks like. Um. Is it? Sunrise orange. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I I wish there was I wish there were more shades of orange. I I'm not like a huge fan of the shades that they have, but um they're pretty cool I guess. Uh maybe actually you know we might switch it to dark blue. Hmm. Or galaxy blue. Galaxy blue might actually look sick. Give that a shot. Oh yeah, galaxy blue is looking kind of nice. Okay, we're gonna keep it galaxy. Uh, for the roof, you can add a roof rack to it, which we are going to do, because I think it kind of just improves the look of the car a little bit, honestly. For the suspension, you can slam this thing. Um, I think we're gonna go about halfway, just the street suspension. Um, not really a huge fan of like a slammed SUV. I don't think it looks that great, so. Uh, for the transmission, we're gonna go race, and for the turbo, we are gonna turbo it, so. Uh, for the wheels, I think we're probably going to stick with the same rims, just the custom variant of them. Um, split 10, just so I can color the inside of the spoke. Um, for the tires, we could put a design on them. I don't think we're going to. Bulletproof tires, tire smoke, for all that gets done. And for the windows, we're going to tint them all the way out. So as you guys can see, it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty good. We're going to take it down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a little review. And, uh, yeah, so. All right, let's do the sound test. Sounds pretty good. It's not the worst, it's not the best. Uh, I'm not, a, you know, not opposed to it. Uh, I wouldn't mind a better sound, but that's okay. So, off the line, a little bit slow. Um... This car is a little slow off the line, but once you start getting going, uh, the car picks up speed very, very quickly. Um, it's not as fast as like the Tauros, for example. I think that might be the fastest SUV in the game. Um, not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on it, but... Um, you know, this thing doesn't actually feel that fast anymore. Because um, when this came out, and was I can't even remember what update that was. It might have been High Life. Um, but, like, the cars back then were so much, like, slower. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but, like, the fastest car at one point was the N to the XF, and now I think it's, like, the 15th or something fastest car in the game, so, in the supercars class. So, things have improved a lot. Um, yeah, this thing, this thing does feel a bit, a bit on the slow side now. Um. With that being said, though, uh, handling is not too bad. Um, it feels heavy, um, that's for sure. Um, it's not going to handle like a supercar because it's not one, so. Um, 
no surprises there but um, you know for it being a big heavy SUV it can uh, it can corner pretty well um, so that's good I'm enjoying that um, it'll definitely it'll hold itself together in the corners actually it's uh, it's not wanting to slide out too much on me so yeah that's pretty good and uh, this thing I believe it's only hundred ninety five thousand dollars so pretty good price honestly and uh, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon um, about potentially the best cars or the coolest cars for under five hundred thousand dollars so this car may be making an appearance in that video um, so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it for the uh, review and the customization though guys um, if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you didn't dislike uh, comment down below let me know what you think of the uh, Huntley S or uh, what you think of my customization and uh, yeah subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you in the next video until then, take care. Bye.